today we grieve. We look at that desk and we know what we have lost. Diane Feinstein was all of this and more. A friend, a hero for so many, a leader who changed the nation, sorry, a leader who changed the nature of the Senate and who changed the fabric of the nation, America. Lane and I got married shortly after the 92 election. And I remember that Diane gave us a small depiction of the Capitol. I looked at it this morning because it's still on the wall and uh, remembered our dear colleague as a truly remarkable individual. I owe a lot to Senator Feinstein. Um, she kept the anti-gun violence movement alive for 15 years when no Democrats would talk about guns after 1994 until Sandy Hook. Dianne Feinstein was a very lonely, courageous voice. So we finally beat the NRA last year for the first time since she beat them in 1994. And the only reason that that happened is because Dianne Feinstein never gave up. You think about women like me being able to stand here and serve in this institution. I mean, she blazed trails, and no matter what side of the aisle you're on, we're so grateful for her service. At this time, just hours since her passing, Rather than talk about her, let us just pray that she rests in peace. And in that regard, Mr. Speaker, I ask for unanimous consent that all present in the chamber, as well as members and staff throughout the Capitol, to please rise for a moment of silence in remembrance of the late Honorable Senator Dianne Feinstein. <laughs> 